The way you play, your silky goals just blow me away. The way you play, you're invincible. Welcome back to Big Have the Nerd and today's end of season episode of the Invincibles as we take on Chelsea and then finish the season with a game against Swansea. Swansea are sitting 18th as we stand now. If we look at the points table, so United have played their game already. They've won. That's annoying. We could have done with a loss there. They beat Crystal Palace. We are now playing Chelsea. A win here will put us on 80 points. Essentially, a win here for us will stop Chelsea being able to win the title as well, I think. Unless they can beat them last day of the season. So it's it's all could change. Hopefully we can get second. And Tottenham look like they've dropped off a bit as well. So we're hoping that we also just secure our position above Tottenham. But we're going to get Champions League. I'm pretty sure of. Can we get second? Can we, fingers crossed, with a lot of stuff going wrong for the other teams, get first? But we need to beat Chelsea. If we can't beat Chelsea, it's pretty much all over for second. Um, we're gonna, we've are gonna. we got some injury problems. I'll, I'm, I'll show you the team now. Where the hell's my tactics? Come on, I've forgotten it. There we go. So we're going to have to play an injured Lacazette because Giroud got injured for whatever it was, a week, it was only for three, one to four days with a gashed head. For some reason, they can't just like plaster it and send him out, but he can't play. So Lacazette's not back yet. I'm going to have to start start him at least and hope he does something and then I'm going to have to rely on Danny Welbeck. So uh, yeah, that's going to go well for us. So we've got we've not got a fully fit team because we put not everyone out for the Colm game. I'm still pissed off about it because it was only one game ago. And you know, these things hurt me. Hurt me deep down inside. So we're out of the Europa. We've only got this Premier League left. Can we get as high up as we can? Let's, let's just get in. Let's get in and submit the team. Stop the pain. Right, so we are lining up with checking goal. Kalasniak, Smalling, Mustafi and Bellerin. Haka and Herrera in the middle with Awobi, Ertzil, Walcott and Lacazette up top. But we know he's injured. They are lining up. They've put Sanchez up top against us. Bastards. So they're lining up with the 5-2-3 formation. That is something that we could go to next year. That's what I was looking at. Possibly going three centre-backs, putting the wing-backs on. And we might need to improve wing-backs. But we've got the players to play in the middle at least. And we've got... It's that shadow striker role that we kind of struggle with. So maybe that's the way to go. Have Walcott, have a Wobi as the two strikers. Drop at the Ertzel role down to here and have wing backs and more defenders. So we might train it over the summer. We'll see who we can bring in. If we can bring another centre back and a decent goalie, might be the way to go. Because, um, yeah, that shadow striker role hasn't quite worked for us. Um, and we haven't got enough strikers to go to up top. So we'll, we'll think about it. It seems to work. It's one I've not played before. But we're going to have to watch out for that team. We know that team. It's a very uh, good team. Obviously, Fabregas in there as well. Um, so let's go for... Is there a revenge? I'm expecting a win here to be qualified. No, let's go for... Ignore the recent play. Yeah, that didn't really work. Um, can I give... I'm hoping not to really confuse them all by... Essentially saying... Assert if I... I want to see a good performance. Oh! That's what I didn't want to happen. Why are you confused? And they, and <sighs> shit. Well, this is gonna go horribly wrong. Why do they get confused and demotivated when we saying, "Look, I want to see a good performance from you." They don't believe that they can win anything. This team. That's the problem. I won't be here. Jesus, I thought we were gonna get something within the first couple of minutes. Mustafi here, 10 minutes in, first highlight. It looks like it's coming our way, even though they're confused and demotivated. Well, hopefully they can fight through that and just score a goal. Herrera now tries to find Walcott. There's a lot of defenders there. Bellerin heads down to Haka, who puts it into Ertzil, doesn't come and pick up the ball. Great work, Ertzil. Hazard now strides forward. Alexis, we know all about this bastard. Goes for long shot. All day, mate. All day we will take that. Oh, we are getting absolutely dominated on possession here. That's not good. Right, let's let's do what I wanted to try before, which is drop this role down into a support role so they play a bit more. Um, we don't necessarily need the ball. Play higher up so you close down a bit more. Direct passing. Run at defence. So there's a lot of defenders. Yeah, we try and commit defenders. Let's go to counter. I forgot we were away. Okay. Chelsea highlight here. Fabregas on the ball. Come on, close him out. 
Come on, Hakan. Julian. Asperguetta puts the ball inside. Sanchez. Oh, good. Goal kick. Don't let Sanchez score. Don't let Sanchez close off our season. Lacazette's not playing well. Um, which is a bit annoying because I'm playing when he's injured. But we let's bring him off before half time. And then if he is injured and he's not going to score a goal early on, what's the point? What is the point? Ertzel's not playing great. Oh, God, none of them are. Okay. We have option two. Team talk. Assertive. How do I get this one? They've not been playing great. Let's go for aggressive. Far from pleased. Oh, there we go. We've got some fired up. That's good. Let's go tactics. Let's go. I just knocked this up earlier. 4-4-2. Awobi as, as an inverted winger because I can't actually get him as an inside forward. So I'm assuming that's kind of the same thing. Walcott as a winger on attack. Same formation. Um, but we're on counter and we drop. We're just sitting a little bit further back. Play out defence. More direct passing. Yeah. Looking for... We haven't got to look for the overlap on. But maybe we... No, we shouldn't. Let's put... Hit, can we put hit crosses early on? Will that have a bad impact? Probably. Let's work the ball into the box. No, actually. Bugger it. Right, this is tactics on the fly now. This is when I'm floundering because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, structured. We like structured counter. Okay. Let's try that. Let's try a 4-4-1-1. Four, four, one, one. See if we can get anything. Look at all those 6.4s and 6.5s. Come on, Danny Welbeck. You're, you're my only hope, mate. You are my only hope. Ertzil's having a shocker. Herrera's having a shocker. Walcott's having a shocker. Ertzil's now picked up a knock. All right, he's going to be useless. Next to useless. Let's bring on Turan. I mean, let's hope he can do something. Oh, no. Free kick. Fabregas swings it in. Marcus Alonso heads over. I mean, a draw wouldn't be bad, but it's not going to get a second, is it? Courtois now. Clearance. Can we sneak something? Let's sneak something, please. Bellerin heads. Come on. Close it down. Alexis. And Hazard. Oh, good cut out there by Mustafi. Hacker. Back to Mustafi. Bellerin. Turan. Finds Welbeck. Welbeck. Oh, finds a Woby. Inside. Ah, oh, ball inside was bad. The ball inside was bad. Morat is on now. They put a real striker on. He just put a, he put on Sanchez just to mock us at the beginning, didn't he? Nob. Another free kick. Can we win this and counter? Come on, Hazard. Into Morata. Oh, God. <sighs> the way that bounced down, I thought I was in. Have we got anyone that can make a change? Do I give one last chance to... Bloody Ramsey. I think... We'll be lucky to get anything from this now. Alexis now on the right this time. Mustafi clears. Kolasniak into Turan. we got people forward though. Welbeck. we got four people forward. Don't cock this up now. Ramsey. Don't cock this up now. Put the ball inside. Ball inside. Awobi. Oh, Awobi oh, scored. Awobi oh, scored. Come on. The 90th minute. Fucking Alex Awobi. He's put the ball in. And Adam Ramsey sometimes can do this. Welbeck does well there. Not to cock it up. Ramsey nearly does with his touch. But manages to pull out a cross from there. Awobi was un or oh, nearly unmarked. Just kind of chested it in. We've got the goal. How have we done that? That is sneaky beyond belief. Oh no, 94th minute. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Oh, Herrera's on a good job there. Clearance. Get it out. Blow the whistle. Come on, ref. 14 seconds have gone. Stop taking the piss. Oh good. Bellerin's cleared. Ramsey's got the ball. Right, hold on to it. Just hold on to it. Well back. Inside the Turan. Find a Woby. Find a Woby. He's found a Woby. Go on. Oh. Yes. Arsenal merge from a poor match as the winners. That is. That's the sentence for our season. Arsenal merge from a poor match as the winners. That that sums us up. We've scraped through so many bloody victories. Passionate. Well done, lads. Your performance has secured Champions League football. Well, that's better than this year, at least. So we are one point behind Chelsea now. Three games to go. Chelsea have to play United. If they can draw 87 points, right? We're never going to beat. Three games will give us nine. 
So United have to lose and draw for us to win. And we have to win all of our games. Chelsea have to draw and draw. Just draw all of them. I don't care about Chelsea. Ertzil's now out. That's all great. Brilliant. Um, yeah, I'm relieved. I'd say we were a bit fortunate. Uh, but I am delighted about winning. On. <laughs> we only had 38% possession. Uh, go on, Awobi. You absolute beast. Arsenal qualified for the Champions League. So that's good. We've got 96 million to spend. Do we go defenders? Do we go better defender? Maybe better goalie. If we can. Keep the attacking force. The problem with going to that... The... the Chelsea formation is it's not the invincible tactic, right? It's not the way they played. So maybe it's not. Maybe it is a case of looking for wingers. Awobi's good. I know everyone says sell Walcott, but Walcott's the top assist maker in the league this year. So that formation worked. Lacazette, when he is in the goals, works. Maybe we go for a better striker. Maybe we go for a second striker. And have Lacazette drop in. One of them drop in as a defensive forward. You look for a Paolo Dybala type character. Striker who can play as an attacking midfielder. Playing both up top. Play a 4-2-2-2. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, drop this roll. And have two. Have the two wingers. I've had one. I've had three back here. But now that doesn't work either. I think we go for two strikers. Mm -mm -mm. Very interesting. Right. But I'm going to go and play these next two games. I'll be back for the Swansea game. The last game of the season. We will see... How the season has gone. Okay, here we are. Back for the Swansea game. Last game of the season at home. We left you with the Chelsea game. We then smashed Newcastle 4-0. We then smashed Watford 3-1. That leaves us third in the Premier League still. But look at how tight this is now. Just It just makes me angry. Like Looking back, thinking about where we where did we lose. We lost 2-0 to Tottenham there. Maybe not so much. Where did we drop points? Leicester, we dropped points. Southampton, we dropped points there. This midsection, screwed. But we had a look at the season though. We've had a freaking good season. Losses to Tottenham, a couple of draws, and we shouldn't have a draws. West Brom, West Ham, maybe. We've not had a bad season smashing to Liverpool. We'll forget that. But now to end up this one game, Swansea. If we win, we will go into 89 points. So we have to win. Let's assume we win. We're on 89 points. That means Man United and Chelsea drawing. Put Man United on 89 points as well. And they will beat us on goal difference. Unless we can win by five more goals than they can. So we have to go out and stomp Swansea. Swansea are now, I think, safe. They've been on a bit of resurgence. They've come back. They've been flying back. But, yeah, we're going to have to win like 7 or 8 nil to beat Man United. If Chelsea win, they win the title. Because they'll go to 90 points and there's nothing we can do. Although we will go second if we win our game. So... The best we're hoping for is really second here. First would be ridiculous. We'd have to see the, the most ridiculous score. Yeah, it'd have to be a draw. It wouldn't make sense. It'd have to be a draw and we have to win by five more goals. They, if West, Man United and Chelsea draw nil nil and we win 6 nil against Swansea, we may win the title. That's that's how ridiculous it's got to be. But we can still push for second. I think third's still good for us, but look at this man. I just noticed that at the corner of my eye. T uh, Theo Walcott, 26 assists this season. Next highest, 17. It's nine more. And Martins only came in for half the season. He, I know a couple of you guys have suggested Martins. But yeah, he's at Man United, which is annoying. Look at him. What a buy he would have been. First on the average rating. Second on the assist. And he's only been here for part of the season. Behind Lacazette and Walcott and our guy. Lac, uh, Lacazette here, 23 goals. He's not going to catch Kane. But yeah, he dipped. If he hadn't dipped mid-season, maybe it would have been okay. But Giroud got a hat-trick in the last game, so... Here's the last game then. The last game of the season. Get down. I'm going to go away and do the transfer. It's going to probably take me a couple of days to get all the transfers and get through the pre-seasons and stuff. So get your recommendations down. I know I've been talking about changing formation. I can't change formation because we need to play a 4 bloody 4 2 or a 4 2 3 one or some, some mix-up of this because that's how Arsenal played in the Invincible seasons I can't change that so we can maybe drop some players deeper we can maybe change people in here I've noticed that Wobi is actually a very good shadow striker so he might be an option to go into here next season and we change up and have a different left back I don't know what we then do with Ertzil. Um but yeah or we've talked about what we did before we go for two strikers maybe put a Wobi up top 
have two strikers, two wingers, two defensive players. So there's some options. I might try them out over preseason, but that's what we're looking for. I'm looking for a backup striker, maybe some wingers. I'm thinking I might go in for a central defender anyway. Because Shelney and Smalling don't like playing with each other for some reason, even though like they would be the best two that we've got. Uh, maybe improve the fullback slightly, because if you look at the stats, that's where we're down at the bottom here. We've got three stars. Koscielny, the best at three and a half. Um, we're across the board at the top. I know we're playing out of role, but these guys are much better um, in the main. So maybe we'll just get some defenders and a goalkeeper anyway, just to shore up that defence. But let's get in. Enough chat. Last game of the season. So we are lining up with the with Petrček in goal. Kolasniak, Koscielny, Mustafi and Bellerin is the back four. Hacker and Herrera in the middle with Awobi, Ertzil, Walcott and Giroud up top. They are playing the 5-3-2 much like oh different five three two now that's an interesting one again that's one we could probably get away with playing two up top three good midfielders just drop the wingers off have wing backs but again it's not the way they played it's not the way they played God, i can't wait for the next step uh, the next series to start where i can play whatever damn formation i want right assertively let's go for i oh, see that swansea fifth uh, I want you to pick up where you left off. Keep it simple. Let's not confuse him with the title. Uh, there's incredible desire. 300 for period for Walcott. So we've got the title down here, the live league table. Let me get the latest scores because that will be also interesting to see. Let's just line up the bottom of the, ta the thing. Let's hope nothing happens on the right. So this one's. Oh, bloody hell, I've got scroll. Right, Chelsea and Man United are down the bottom. Can I make this really small so it's not intrusive? I can. Can I then just leave it? I can. Man United, Chelsea. Can I just... Can, does this work? No. There we go. Man United, Chelsea. Need a nil-nil draw, essentially. We need to win 7-0. Easy. Maybe we should go attacking. We're going to go for it. Maybe we should go... Uh, no, I'm scared that they're going to actually do us over. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, they've hit the par. Oh, I also got to tell you, Shea Given had to play a match. The Newcastle match, <laughs> Petr Cech got injured. So, I actually had to play Shea Given, and he was outstanding. Give him that. He was a, he was absolutely stonking. Right. I am thinking about switching this to attack. I mean, we are having all of the stats, but they are having all of the highlights. Go on, Cech. Put it out to Iwobi. Look at him. Oh, you knob. Giroud heads down to Walcott, though. Walcott now. Can he put the ball in? Can we get ourselves off to a flying start? No. 20 minutes in. No goals so far. Right. Do you know what? I am going to go attacking. We need we need to do this. We need to do this in style. Oh, good ball in. No one there. Giroud. Oh, he's hit the post. Man United Chelsea still nil nil. Every time this bloody loads, it's going to change, it, isn't it? We have to keep scrolling. Stupid bloody. Oh no, it's stayed there. Walcott, corner in. Mustafi. Kashoni. Was that Kashoni? It was. Off to a flyer. 1 0. Oh, this isn't, a, this isn't a live league table. Why is this not a live league table? Is there one? Is there a live league table? League table. Latest events. Ah, oh, no. There's not a live league table. Well, that's bloody useless. Ah, oh, United are winning as well. No. Come on, Chelsea. Get back in it, boys. Oh, it's a live league table. There we go. Walcott nicely done. Oh, it doesn't quite rob him. Oh, Mkhitaryan's had a red card. 2-0 to United now. Jesus. Chelsea, come on. Although we will get second here. Walcott. Oh, over the bar. We are in second position as it stands. I don't think we were going to win. We're, we're with Man United 2-0 up. I don't think we're going to get this now. So, if they win and we can win, we take second. Two points off United, which is a bit of a shame. But we do finish above everybody else. Oh, Wilfred Bonnie's through. Mustafi, what a tackle. And Tammy Abraham gets a shot off. Come on, boys. 7-0, that's all we need. 7-0 and two goals from Chelsea. Half time. Still 2-0 at Old Trafford. We are dominating this side. Let's send them back out there with an assertive. I know you're doing well, but you could be doing better. You two are doing bad. So if I'm not happy with performance, good. Look, fired up. Let's get out there, then, boys. Come on, it's only half time. We could still get all the goals that we need. Um, two 0 still at United. Come on. Here we go. 
Yeah, I am thinking maybe if we keep the 4-2-3-1 and then maybe go to a 4-2-2-2 for away formation. So we have two strikers up top when we're playing those long balls forward. Um, and then we can have the, the wingers on support. So I might try that pre-season. Go on, put it away! Yes! Walcott gets a goal. 2-0. That's what we needed. So it looks like we might have to settle for second here. I mean, second is not bad, is it? Let's let's be honest with ourselves. Second is not bad. We've not really... The people we've brought in, we've brought in on from the transfer list. We've struggled to get people in because we've not got Champions League football. We will have Champions League football next year. So that shouldn't be an issue, he says, hopefully, reputation-wise. So hopefully, we can bring in some top qualities. Where we bring it in, though, that's what I just need to work on. But yeah, like I say, on that away formation, maybe go to two strikers. And when we play long balls, we've got two decent strikers up top who can score goals. And maybe that means bringing a Wobi inside as a shadow striker rather than outside as an inside, uh, outside on the left, sorry, as an inside forward. Which would mean I need a new left winger. Danny Welbeck's all right, but he's not that good, is he? A Wobi here. But look, a Wobi is just outstanding. Walcott. Oh! Walcott and Wobi. I'd be scared actually to change them because they're so bloody good at the moment as well. 3 0 up. Easy squeezy. Only four goals now off the goal difference of United. Ertzil. Walcott. Lovely job. 48 minutes. 3 0 up. I'm a sh it's a shame we just couldn't find this form earlier. Free kick now. Giroud puts it in. Mustafi heads down. Walcott. Mustafi. Four. Well, I mean, we're four now up. What did we say we needed? Seven nil. <laughs> that would be annoying if we got the seven nil and uh, Chelsea didn't do their bit. Let's have a look. Still two nil. Come on, Chelsea, man. Mkhitaryan was sent off in the 35th minute. He got sent off and then they got a goal. Oh, Wobie's picked up an injury. We'll bring him off before they take this. Let's bring on bloody hell. Turan or Santi Carzola. Should we give Santi Carzola a run out? Be his last game, I think. Because we're gonna have to, we've got a lot of midfielders to get rid of this summer as well. Clearance there. Messer puts it inside. Come on, close him out. Don't let him score. Let's keep a clean sheet. Come on. No, no, man on the back post. Oh, he's greedy. Shoney clears. Ten minutes to go. 2-0 still, Man United Chelsea was still holding on to that second position. Ah, oh, a draw was going to be uh, difficult for them, wasn't it? Definitely doable, though. Although drawing on points with United and not winning the title would have been a bit of a shame. Tammy Abraham here. Check with a good save. Big, strong hand. But we have been dominant. Last three or four games, we have flown. We got so lucky in that Chelsea win. Bellerin now. What's he going to do? Big clearance. Oh, nothing. It does actually make me think. <laughs> Trying to build the Invincibles tactic. And I'm just talking about bringing a winger inside to play as a striker. In Mr. Wobi. Oh, what a goal by Etzel there. Does that remind you of anybody? Maybe a, a one Thierry Henry. Started his life as a, as a winger. But would have been a, technically an inside forward. Arsene Wenger brought him inside. Made him a striker. And what a, what a goal machine he turned out to be. So, uh. Maybe that, maybe that's the the answer, and, and Lacazette becomes our uh, our Burkamp. Five nil, so close to what we needed. We did our end, didn't we? We did our part of the bargain. Bloody Chelsea letting us down. They still two nil, still two nil down. Koscielny does well there. Bellerin, this home formation is spectacular. So. It works at home. 5-0 win to finish the season. What a way. 27 shots, 14 on target. Absolute domination. Finishing second. It's two points. Two points behind. Same number of wins. We just lost two games more than they did. Ah, oh, that is that is a little bit going. But second, I'll take second. Passionate. Very happy with the result in where you played. I'm sure a lot of Arsenal fans would take second. And yeah, all we did was bring in a couple of central midfielders we didn't play really. Well, Herrera was one that came in January. Smalling was the other one that was a, probably a very good signing that came in a, the backup. But yeah, not bad. And this is, I mean, they finish it with this. Champions for Devils complete treble. Yeah, they knocked us out of everything, didn't they? Bloody knobs. Right, lig pool ligaments for a way be, but yeah, that's good. Arsenal Premier League hopes over. Oh, boo-hoo. Player of the match, Walcott. What a man. Um, 
Ah, oh, we can do this after. Actually, oh, it's like Jamie. We can get some money for him. More cotton form. Arsenal received 35 million for coming second. Squad payout. I wonder if they'll up the transfer budget then. Because we had 96 million. Hey, oh, we've still got 96 million. But surely. Oh, we can sell appearance fees, couldn't we? We don't need to make money though. Um, yeah, surely 96. Oh, I get 360 million in wages in the bank. Although we might need that for bringing in certain people. It's going to be a busy summer, I think. It's going to be a busy summer. So let's have a look then. Finished second. Oh. So close to be it so far. Did nothing in the bloody cups. Oh, where did we find Where's this? Where's the overview? There's an overview around it somewhere, isn't there? Oh, I can't find the history thing I was looking for. So let's have a quick look at the season. Then. So we started off with that loss in the community shield. That oh, was bad, wasn't it? But we did pip Chelsea to second in the end. So sweet, sweet karma. We started off brilliantly in the league. Smashed off that unbeaten run. Then lost to Tottenham. Losing to Tottenham twice. That's got to be a massive down. A big down off the old... Uh, so the, for the season. Beat Chelsea in, in the EFL Cup in penalties. That was nice. Got through the Europa League with ease. Getting smashed by Liverpool. That was bad. That was real bad. We didn't really deserve that. Oh, we actually had the bet, the beating of Chelsea all the way through the season. Yeah, Liverpool gave us a thrashing um, away, which was not good. We beat United 3-2. That was great at home. Then lost to them in the bloody EFL Cup semi-final by that one goal. That was annoying. I remember that now. I remember that vividly. Knocked out of the FA Cup by Middlesbrough. Oh, no, it wasn't by Middlesbrough, was it? Why does it come up as a red? Oh, it's a cup. Oh, yeah, we got knocked out by Norwich. Even worse. On penalties. So, FA Cup could, could do better. And then we managed to pick up form again. Had a great run in the Europa League. And then that Colne game, we should have we should have won both of those and ended up losing because of an away goal. But outside of that, if you look, the the league form after the Tottenham loss was win, 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 win. So it did bloody well in the Premier League to finish. Just wasn't enough to pip. Pip United to the post. But that is the end of the first season. So we now, we go away. We have the summer. Like I say, get your uh, get your suggestions in. We're going to try and keep this tactic. I might go for on the away tactic. Get rid of that. That didn't work. When I played it once and then bottled it from here on out. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe for the away tactic, we go to a little something like this. So we're, we're playing longer balls and we've got the two guys up there. So we're using the wings to get these in. Probably drop these onto support, to be honest, because we don't want them that far forward. Um... Yeah, playing like this. And then does that mean that... And we could actually go back to the the wonky formation. That kind of works, especially if we're going to have two strikers in a different formation. But yeah, and then maybe we bring a Wobi inside. Which means we need to find a space for or Mr. Ertzel here. Because he is an attacking midfielder. Does he go and play out on the left for us? He's not very good out there. Or does he drop back maybe into a midfield position and we play him from there? Or do we get rid of him? So we're at 60-odd million. He's just signed a contract, which means we can sell him for a decent amount. He's just hit his peak. We could well sell him and try and bring someone into the middle here. It's better. Get rid of a lot of those central midfielders and bring in some new central midfielders. Herrera, I like the look of. I like Herrera. I think he's a good buy. But yeah. If, if Ertzel's going to drop out or Woby's going to go in there and we need money for a... a, a pro, we'll probably need the money for a backup for Walker and a decent inside forward on the left. We also need a really good ball winning midfielder. If we sell all the midfielders we got that surplus to requirements, does it, that give us the funds to bring in two or three world-class players? Lots to think about, but I will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button for this end of season one video and i will see you back for the start of season two the last season of this arsenal save before we get on to something new something longer because these two season saves just kill me but uh, just in my heart but we've got enough tactics we'll, we'll be tactically astute enough when we go into our longer save to use all of them we can play anything we want ticket tagger gagging pressing invincible tactic or we'll make up something new but thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed please do subscribe if you are new and i shall see you next time have a good evening bye, -bye.